But now we have G Police, and this is, I mean, I've got this game. Um, it's a pretty decent game, but I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't say it's like one of the best PS1 games ever or anything. Um, you know, it's like, it's one that if you find it for a couple of quid, then it's definitely worth it. But it's not really one of the best PS1 games or anything. It's just, you know, it's a decent game. Um, basically, you fly around in a helicopter and you basically just blow up uh, enemy stuff or whatever. But it's not... I can't say it's anyone who was good as Future Cop LAPD, though. Um, that's just what I think, anyway. Actually, I'm probably going to turn the lights on in a bit because it's starting to get dark. Which kind of sucks. But, uh... Sunset's coming a lot later now that we've got DST in effect and all that. But well, that, and it's just because it's April, you know. The end of April, that, pretty much. And... Actually, I've got to say, the full game... Supports, um. Oh, yeah, got that. Actually, no, how do the controls work with the, uh. Okay, this is weird. Like, I, I always play this with, um, analog controls, but the analog controls don't seem to work on this demo, which kind of sucks. So let's blow this guy up. Yeah. How do you slow down, actually? I've got a clue. This doesn't seem to make any sense, because. Like I said, I'm really used to playing this with the analog controller, or DualShock controller, or whatever. Oh, let's blow this guy up. He seems to be a git. Oh, uh, no, I've lost him. One thing that really bugs me at this game is the draw distance sucks. Um, I mean, granted this game is from like 1997, but still, it just... It's a big problem with this game. Because, you know, you're flying around in a, in a helicopter, basically. It's like... It's like you have to be able to see where the enemies are. And it's kind of hard to do. I mean, even with the radar, it doesn't really help much. Um, at least not for me, anyway. So we've got to blow up this bugger. But the enemies take a few hits to kill. That's the speed of the bugger, yeah. I don't know how to slow down. Um, because, I mean, the X button shoots and the triangle button accelerates, so it's... Oh, okay, the square button slows down, okay. Wasn't quite sure what to... Wasn't quite sure what to do. So, okay, there's two arrows. I forget which one points the objective and which one points the enemies. I think, does this one for the objective? No. Oh, wait, no, I think that one just points north, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, stupid me. Uh, so I think this... The uh, other arrow that I'm going to. I'm pretty sure this leads to the objective, but where is the objective? Now, what the now what the hell does Git shoot me at? Let me fly around here for a bit. Ah, here we go. I think here's one that Git's got to blow up. So I think, yeah, I think the ones that it's like doing. Oh, stop, stop darting around, you twat. Just blow up. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be blowing up or not, but I'm just going to anyway, just to do something. Where the hell's he gone to? This is the problem, the enemies just... You don't know where the enemies end up half the time, it's confusing. Um, so where the hell has he gone? I don't know. Oh, okay, he seems to have gone this way. But... No, I don't actually know. So I don't really get where, like you see, like that red arrow. That's ah, okay, here we go. Uh, he's strafe. No, I don't need strafe in this. Club remix. <laughs> no, how do I engage? Ah, here we go. Uh. Yeah, here we go. So, where the hell's it got to? Ah, here we go. I think. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh. I was thinking it was like the guy in the crane or whatever, but no, apparently, no, it's a completely different person that we'll shoot. Ah, here we go. Attacking target. Attacking target. No, just let me attack. <laughs> oh, I think I'm 
kind of directing uh, what the other people are doing. So I seem to remember you could do that. Whoa, game's <laughs> game's really slowing down right here. I don't want to use this weapon because it's too slow. Eh, yeah, seemed to work though. I mean, I hit him once and he died. Uh, how do I switch the? Okay, so that's yeah, to friendly. Like, uh, where the hell's the twat shooting lasers coming from? Ah, here we go. Okay, now it's not that guy I want to shoot. Is that guy? No. It's... Ah, here we go. So I'm pretty sure it's the ones that have got the red thing around them that you want to shoot. No. I'm not sure how you switch the weapons on. Ah! Yeah, here we go. Get that guy to attack this guy. I think I'm about to die because I'm running out of health. Yeah, I'm about to die. Oh well. <laughs> Actually, I forget, do you health refill the time? Because, yeah, it does. Oh well. I'm about to die, I think. Might as well go down in a blaze of glory. Or like that, I guess. Mission failed. And, oh, what's so that stuff on the right? I don't get that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was about to say, is the game crashed or something? Seriously, what is with that garbage stuff? I don't get that. You think they'd be able to cuff that up or whatever, but apparently they couldn't. On the screens in October last year. Because, I mean, this disc was from like 1998, I think. And this game is from 1997, so I don't really know what they include it on here. I mean, like I said, it's a decent game, it's just... I'm sure this is on one of the other discs that I've got. These um, essential PlayStation discs. So I don't know why they didn't... why they included this. I mean, they could have included, like, Tombi or... I don't know, whatever games came from at that point that would have been included. I don't know, that... Maybe that ISS Pro game... Was quite good for its time, I guess. Or, actually, no. The, um... No one can stop this at Domino's, because that game is so weird. But whatever. Uh, music. Yeah, I'm probably going to mostly skip this one, because... Essentially what this is, is you basically just make your own tunes. So, I oh, know. I might mess around a bit, and then just... Show off something that I made. I guess. In like five minutes. Um, and I have got this, so I do know how to play it at least. Well, I say play. Um, I mean, like I said at the start of the video, this isn't really a game. It's, you know, it's like a music editor thing, pretty much. So, can you skip this, or is it loading? Okay, I think it was loading. I seem to remember the load times on this demo were pretty bad. Um... And I remember that this is one that I did get as a kid, like the full version of. Because I definitely have this. I don't think I really did much in terms of make actual good music with it, though. Oh well. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, can't really do much about that now. Apart from making music now, of course. But, yeah. When the game starts, I dare say. And you could also make, like, music videos or whatever, but I never really bothered with it, because it just felt like a waste of time to me. But, yeah. Like, I missed the room for a bit as a kid, but I didn't really do anything, like, proper good with it. And, yes. Still loading? <laughs> yeah, still loading. Uh... I remember the circuit button did something as well. Oh, here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Disengaging! Disengaging! Sorry. So, uh, let's start this up. Uh, when it starts to load. Ah, here we go. You also got the yeah CD player, which doesn't work in the demo, but uh, the full version has its kind of like music visualization thing. Which I don't think was in Music 2000, I, I might be wrong on that. But let's just create something here. Uh, might as well just show off some of the basics. Actually, let me show off this first. As you can see, you got you, you got these sort of pre-made riffs. 
that you can just use, but I'm not going to bother with them. I'm just going to make stuff up myself because I'm like that. And, okay, so, I mean, it kind of shows controls in that little bar in the middle. Uh, there's not really much in terms of samples you can pick on the demo, though. Uh, oh, forgot there was a guitar in the first one. Let's try this, actually. Oh, oh wait, no, you can't. Yeah, I forgot you can't actually look, listen to the samples in the first one until you actually select it, which kind of sucks. Actually, no, maybe you can. Let me check that. No, you can't. It just loads it up, and it just loads a really low quality sample version. But yeah, you know, I'm just gonna show off some of the stuff you can do making this. Like, pick this one for no reason. Yeah. Or you can move it up here and make it go like, yeah, yeah, that works. But um, you've also got this stuff to mess around with, which took me a while to figure out actually. Um, I mean, this just mutes it, to, which can actually be useful if you want to like cut off a note at a certain point or cut off like a sound or whatever. Uh, this controls the volume. This controls like the pan in, so if I move this all the way to the left, it will like uh, it will just play for the left speaker, I think. So let's try to put that in the middle. Uh, I don't remember what this is. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, okay, pitch slide. That might be useful. So we've got this, which is vibrato depth and speed, which kind of makes it go. But uh, I don't really have much use for that. This controls um, attack, decay, release, or sustain. That was the other one. This, I think this like repeats the note. Yeah. And this basically selects like what part of the sound it starts on. So like if you want to start in like part way through the sound, you can do that. Although it's kind of fiddly. Um, yeah. You can also put some effects on here. Like if I put blue A, yeah, it kind of... It just does a little chord thing, but there's like other stuff. If I try to play it. No, it doesn't really seem to do much. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, major. I majored in this shit. I don't even know what a major is, but uh. <laughs> I was too dumb to go to university. Just while I'm sitting at home playing this shit. Anyway, I'll be back once I've finished making the song. Okay, and I'm done. Let's uh, see how this sounds, I guess. did to the string bit here on the second bit. I guess it was playing too many channels or something. <laughs> or maybe the demo was just messed up or something. I don't know. Um, it's not supposed to sound like that though. Uh, but whatever. Uh, it's not like I could save this anyway so. Oh well. It's like I'm just going to have to uh, quit out of this I guess. But yeah that's music. Uh, actually not. Let me switch the light on. Should have done this before I, uh, while I was, you know, doing other stuff, but whatever. Yep, released November 1998. And like I said, I owned this one as a kid, so. And I've got it now, actually. So, yeah. And this game is awesome. Apart from the fact that it's not actually a game, so, yeah. Go with this music, by the way. Yeah. Actually, if I remember correctly, um, Cold Storage actually did like the demo songs for this game, or whatever. Um, and this is one of them. It's pretty awesome. Actually, 
Wasn't um I could have sworn one of the songs that was on this was used in some other game, but I think it might have been one of the boy pit games, but I don't remember. Someone I'm sure someone will probably tell me in the comments, I don't know. Although I don't think enough people really watch these videos to care. Yeah, 20th of November 1998 on PlayStation only because there were no other versions. Actually, what's funny is I actually looked it up. Apparently, it only got released in Europe, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, literally the only version. So now we've got to endure Cyber Deck. Yeah, like I said before, this is one of the worst games on the PlayStation. Um, God knows why they decided to include it on this. I mean. Like, there are some games, like, like I don't know, Actual Soccer, you know, maybe, like, Crazy Ivan or Driver, you know, that are really outdated nowadays, but you could argue were good at the time. But this game, no. Okay, this game sucked in 1998, it sucks in 2014, and it will suck until the end of time. Um, and I'm about to show you why, because I remember I played this demo back in 1998, and... Back then, I thought it sucked, and playing it again, like afterwards, my opinion has only gotten worse. <laughs> and that's not a good sign, is it? I have no idea what vans have to do with this game, because I mean, vans make—I mean, they make shoes, don't they? And oh, okay, apparently the music's licensed. Oh well, apparently I'm gonna have to mute the video, I guess. Not like it really matters for this game, because like I said, this game sucks. So really, who cares? Uh, oh yeah, here we go. We can have be a baguette, uh, some pasta on a really weird fork, uh, some chips and some newspapers. Well, it's one way to use a newspaper, I guess. Uh, some beer or some oranges that look suspiciously like tits. Well, I won't be shouting lager, 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 but sorry, I'm just going to go for chips. Even though I'm not hungry, but whatever. Uh, you gotta love the Comic Sans as well. And again, doesn't let you look at the trolls for very long. I don't understand what it is with these Psygnosis demos, they don't let you look at them. Uh, it's like, you try to look at the controls and they just cuts off for like five seconds. Um, and yeah, this game is, it's really stupid, as you will see. So, as you can see, you got this like hoverboard thing, um, you got all these things to collect, which... I think they're just like the rings in Sonic, basically. Like, if you have some, then you can't die. But if you get hit and you don't have any, then you die. I think that's how it works, if I remember. And pretty much what you have to do is you have to pass through all those, like, hoops or whatever. It kind of reminds me of that special stage in... Oh, help in there. I don't think you're actually supposed to die at that bit, so... Because I don't think there's a bottomless pit there, so I have no idea how it died at that bit. Maybe the game's just a glitchy piece of garbage. And given how terrible the rest of the game is, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah. And you've also got this, like, trick meter. Um, which you basically hold down L1. And I think the full game is a lot more tricks, but... From what I've seen, they're not really any good. So, yeah. I mean... Oh, no. To me, this it feels like a really, really terrible version of Cool Borders, kind of. Except, uh, instead of, except you have to, like, dodge penguins for some reason, and you have to go through hoops, otherwise you can't win. And, yeah, I mean, you could tell I've played this demo before, because I did play it before just to, <laughs> just in the off chance that this, just in case, in, like, the off chance I was playing, it's like an idiot. I didn't play it right before the corner or anything, but, yeah, and, of course, I missed that, so now I've got to go back and go through it again. Because if you don't go through all the hoops, you have to go through. You have to. You basically have to redo the whole level, which is quite annoying. And I don't feel like doing that. You can actually fall off the stage as well. Um, I have no idea how I died before because I don't think you're supposed to do that. And I don't really understand why Side Notice would release something this terrible. I mean, like they released this, and they released Rascal, which was another terrible game. Um, I mean, I. And I didn't own either of these games as a kid, and I'm forever thankful for not owning them at the time. Um, I mean, I did own Rascal for a bit, and I think, yeah, the one the right exit something, doesn't it? Yeah, thankfully this demo is short, so that is something. But it's just, it's just, it sucks. Like I said, it's almost like a really lame version of Cool Borders. 
And from what I've heard, apparently this demo is actually the best part of the game. Because the rest of the game is basically just terrible mini-games or something like that. Um, and from what I've seen, they really look terrible. Like, there's a game where you have to, like, shoot at penguins. But it doesn't really work. Because it's like... Because it's like you're stuck on one bit. And eventually, like, penguins start attacking you and you can't really avoid it. Which is really annoying. Um, I mean, I haven't played the full version. I certainly don't plan to. Because, I mean, the demo's bad enough. Um... And, you know, from what I've seen on YouTube, it really, it, it's really a game to avoid, to be honest. Um, why this game is on this, is on this disc is beyond me, because, like I said, it, this is like one of the worst games I've played on the PS1, so, why is it on here? I mean, I could kind of understand including it on one of the Euro demos, because I haven't got anything else to include that month. But, to include it on one of these, that's just, that's just insulting my intelligence, that's right, that's all I'm going to say. Toka 2. Now, this game... I don't know if you have to reset this demo. So, I know I played this before, and I certainly don't remember having to reset it. But, um... This is actually a really good game once you get into it. And this is a game that does take a bit uh, of getting used to, to sort of get into. But once you get into it, it's actually a really good game, I think. Uh, so, yeah, Toka 2. I actually want to play the other Toka games at some point, because I haven't actually played them. So, I've played the Honda Accord, or the... Formula One card. Well, I'm gonna play as the Accord. I might play the uh, Formula One card at some other point. I don't know. Put us up controls. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I do want to play in. You know what's funny is, even though this is like a simulation game, I usually play this in like third person. Because I think it's just because you you know bashing into your opponent's thing in this game. It's all like Gran Turismo where. You don't really need to give a toss with the other opponents, you can just avoid them. In this game, I find that it just helps to like crash into them, depending on the situation or something. This start thing is really slow for some reason, I don't really understand that. But yeah, uh, this is actually made by Kilmas, isn't I swear, to, I swear I remember the frame rate being better in the full version, but maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Or maybe it's just because there's 16 cars on the track or something, I don't really know. And already I'm playing like a complete idiot. Great. I want to at least see if I can not finish last. Because I will admit, I'm not that good at this game. At least, I mean, because I could play this just fine on like the low difficulty. But uh, you get to like the medium level. And it's actually quite difficult once you get past once you get past the begin level. This game is really tough, i got to say. And I think this might actually be on the, uh, the medium level. Because the opponents are all just... I'm getting left behind the dust here, and I haven't even, like, spun out or anything, so... Definitely not beginner mode. And you've already got to slow down this, I remember, because, yeah, it's a Silverstone track. Silverstone's so up that terrible corner. Well, I say terrible, this is much worse on some of the other tracks. Um, but, yeah. But, I mean, you got, like, Dying to Park and Brands Hatch and all that, which is pretty awesome. You also got the signs which basically tell you how slow you're supposed to go, pretty much. So, now I finally managed to catch up to some of the other drivers. You can pit new for the other drivers, if I remember. But, uh, I'm not sure if we actually get to see that in action, though. Oh, there we go. So I managed to spin that guy out, or pit maneuver him, or whatever, and. Who knows, maybe I won't finish this race and last, and I forget which button looks back automatically. Uh, okay, it's down. So I usually say to like R1 or whatever, because it's just. I don't like pressing down to, to use like a camera. It just feels kind of awkward to me. Thankfully, you can change the controls in the full version. And like I said, um, if, you, like, if you like simulation driving games, this is definitely one to play, I think. I like this one. Oh, it's going last catch up to me or something. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think I may have messed up his race. <laughs> and yeah, I'm completely again left in the dust right here, which kind of sucks. I think I might be slowing down a bit too much. Uh, although, yeah, that looks a little bit better. But I don't think I'm going to catch up to them at this point though, which kind of sucks. Oh well. Oh wait, no. I can see him. You really gotta get good at driving this to 
to even compete on just the medium level takes a lot of practicing, I think. That's the thing about this game. You can't just you can't really just jump into it pretty much. You know, it's one where you've really got to get used to it, players. Like, I mean, it controls a lot like Conor McRae Rally, actually. Um, I mean, it's kind of different, but yeah, I find that the controls are a little more a bit more touchy than Colin McRae, but whatever. So there we go, fifteenth. Kind of sucked, but uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the replay. Okay, and why is it playing the side dip music? I don't get this. Doesn't make any sense. And <laughs> oh, that by the way, the guy behind me finished like forty. He finished like thirty seconds behind me. That's brilliant. Yeah, it, I swear it's like if you spin out the opponents, they they're pretty much guaranteed to finish behind you, no matter how badly you play for the rest of the race, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, actually, what's funny is I remember you can just like play as, like a Ford Fiesta, and like all the cars will be that, which is kind of funny. Um, actually, what's funny is I remember the Ford Fiesta being quite overpowered as well. They just like it controls better than most of the cars. Anyway, victory box in two. I suppose it's like the third time I'm playing this already. Like, because, I mean, this is on Demo 107. It was on uh, that sports game thing that I did pretty recently. And now I'm playing it on here. As long as I can get this one out of the way. Yes, JVC. We know. Uh, I mean, JVC published some good games on PS1, but I can't remember them offhand. <laughs> Is brilliant. Uh, yeah, we've seen this before. Well, of course I have. I'm already, like I said, this is like the third time I'm playing this. And yes, uh, <laughs> I understand the point of the taunt though. I'm not sure if it's just to get the opponent brought up or something. Seems kind of pointless to me, but whatever. And yeah, here we go. Me versus Dredrick Tatum. I mean, seriously, look at this guy and tell me that isn't Dredrick Tatum from The Simpsons. Looks just like him. And, yeah, we've got this guy. I'm not to be confused with Lennox Lewis, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Yes, round one of one, apparently. Uh. Oh, what the hell am I doing? And, yeah, I'm already down. Yes, we don't need to replay for that. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that easily. I'm going to play so terribly this time. I mean, last time I was at least able to get a draw, so. Ha! I get the feeling I'm probably not going to win this, because I'm sure if, I'm sure getting knocked down, that's worth some big points in it. Yeah, I've got to go all out on the offensive right now. How's he not taking any damage? Like, he's not even, like, blocking there, so... What the hell? No, I'm just going for the face, because he didn't seem to be blocking that. Ooh, that was painful. <laughs> See, it seems though, if I keep punching him, he doesn't seem to be able to attack me, which is kind of funny. I don't think that's how boxing game is supposed to work, but I'm just saying. Why doesn't he block his face? Like, I keep punching him in the face, like, he'll eventually block, like, see there? But for the most part, he just doesn't even bother. But I get the feeling I'm probably going to lose, though, because of that, cause that knockdown in the beginning. Oh well. I mean, I, I mean, I won before anyway, so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So apparently I won, even though I got knocked down. But yeah. You got all these graphics, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 1998. That's just yeah. There we go. I got like four times as many hits as he did. So yes. Uh, coming soon. Yes, coming 16 years ago. I guess 50 and a half, maybe. Whatever. I, I don't really care. Um, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad game. It's just I don't really care for boxing games. So, yeah.
Uh, is it working? Or is it crashed? Because I would like to be able to do one of these demos and not have to reset the PS1, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Come on, just let me go back to the menu. Fine, I'll be back once I've reset the PlayStation. Okay, well we've got one game left, which is WLS 99, and if I'm not mistaken, this is that football game I played on the, um, what was it, Demo 41. I think this is the same one anyway, because I think that was called like Michael Owen WLS or something like that. Uh, okay, load in. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is it. Maybe, oh, is it working? Ah, here we go. Uh, let's have a look. So let's see. Circle and shoots. Uh, X button passes and whatever. So. Let's play as Poland this time, actually, just to be different. Because, I mean, I played as England last time, so why not? Where you actually get to play as Poland in a video game, but there you go. Uh, okay, so do I get kickoff, I guess? And, okay, apparently I'm shooting to the left, okay. Good to know. So, presuming I'm the team in blue. Well, actually, no, wouldn't it make more sense for Poland to be the team in red? I, mean, I think they're playing red, don't they? But I guess I'm on the team in blue, because... Okay, we've got this intro stuff, we don't really need. Uh, which one's a sprint? Okay, I've already, <laughs> I've already lost the ball. This is going to go well. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh! What the hell am I doing? Yep, I'm already losing, which is brilliant. You said anyone see that in a proper England game. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I have no idea what I was doing there, because I pressed X. So, shouldn't you have just passed or something? Or, do the controls change depending on, like, whether you're in defense? I don't know. Okay, so, bugger. And then we get the ball. I oh, can't that not get it. Uh, I'd say this has aged a lot better than uh, yeah, the football games that came like 1996 or whatever. I mean, like I said, I mean, like, um, actual soccer hasn't really aged that well. And that's a problem with it. That's a problem with, like, football games in general is the older ones don't tend to age well. Okay, and I didn't want to do that. Oh, bugger. This is not going well. And the fact that the time is going really fast doesn't really help. Um, is there a way to look at the controls in the game? Because it just kind of skipped them after like five seconds, which is annoying. And there doesn't seem to be a way to look them up in the game, so... It's like you have to take a wild guess, pretty much. I mean, there's... Cause I, don't, I don't want to do slide tackles. I want, I want to do, like, like, press the play for the ball or whatever. But I don't know which button that is. Is it circle, or is it, like, X? I have no idea. Um, well, actually, no, it can't be X. But I mean, is it circle? Is it square? Is it triangle? Is it one of the shoulder buttons? I don't know. Um, the zone don't tell you. Well, I mean, they tell you, but you have to look at it in like five seconds. I mean, you could probably tell uh, when you're watching this because they do show. Because you could just pause the video, but I can't. Like, I'm playing this in real time. Like, how do you run? Is it. I can only assume it's triangle, but I haven't got a clue. Okay, and that was not a free kick, okay? I got the ball, so fuck you. No, come up. Yeah. The referee's playing some bullshit games right here. All these bullshit lies you do. All these bullshit lies you crew. All these bullshit lies you say. All these bullshit lies all day. Yeah. This isn't really a bad game, it's just I don't really care for football games for the most part. I mean... There's a few football games I like, but, you know, it's like, unless it's like a really good one, I really don't care to play it. I mean, the only one that I really bother with on the PS1 is uh, Euro 2000, so. Because actually, I do own that game. Okay, so again, so I didn't get a free kick that time. See, I mean, okay, so apparently Triangle doesn't run, because if it was, if Triangle sprinted, he wouldn't have, like, passed the ball then. 
Uh, why is he passing it to the... Oh, stop passing it to the guy on the other team, you idiot. Yeah, now they're just playing Tiki Taka because they can't play for shit. <laughs> yeah. See, why can't they display the controls for like more than two seconds? I don't get this. And of course I'll lose because they don't bother to... Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't really care because I'm done with that. And speaking of which, I'm done with this demo. So yeah, that was... Well, rather this was Essential PlayStation Disc 11 and it's not bad but it could definitely have been a lot better if they changed a few of the games I think because I mean Akuja the Heartless is pretty good I think um, B-Movie I don't really get that one I don't know uh, Carnival's Wars Vengeance is pretty good Future Cop LAD is awesome and it's probably yeah <laughs> Definitely the best game on this. Uh, G Police, which is a good game, but it's, you know, it's like, it, it doesn't really make sense to have it on here, because it would have been out for like a year by the time this disc came out. Uh, music, which is really good, but it's not really a game. Cyber Deck, which is a complete piece of shite. Um, seriously, it, it's just, it's one that, seriously, if you see this game, burn it. Okay, I don't care. I don't care if you get kicked out of the store or whatever, just burn it, because it's just, it's pain. Um, Token 2, which is really good. Victory Boxer 2, which I really don't care for. And WS99, which probably isn't bad, but I don't really care for it. But yes, I will see you later, people. See you.